In this episode of Home Theater Geeks, I answer a question from Michael Meyer, who recently bought a Samsung TV that's having trouble in dark area performance. Can I help him? Stick around to find out. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Hey there, Scott Wilkinson here, the home theater geek. In this episode, I answer a question from Michael Meyer, who writes, I just bought a new Samsung CU8000. The TV has major trouble upscaling 1080p signals from YouTube TV. There's so much artifacting and pixelization in darker areas that it's impossible to watch a show like The Walking Dead. My internet connection has over 100 megabits per second download speed. I understand that this is an under $400 TV, but is there anything I can adjust to minimize this? Well, Michael, you're right. It's a pretty low-end TV. Um, <clears throat> I sent your question to Samsung and got this response. Other than fiddling with some of the menu settings to try and help dark area performance, there isn't much that can be done. As your listener said, the TV is low-end, so the processor and related algorithms aren't as good as our higher-end TVs. Well, that's refreshing honesty from Samsung. I'm glad that they acknowledge that, uh, that there are levels of performance. And as I've always said, you, you pay more, you get better performance, generally speaking. So they did recommend that you look at uh, some of the settings, some of the menu settings, which I will go over here with you. Um, so to get to them, you go to settings and then all settings and then picture and then expert settings. Um, we'll put a URL of the e-manual, the online manual in the show notes so that you can check it out. So here's the first um, page of the e-manual that has what we want. Uh, there's the brightness control, which they suggested you play with. It adjusts the black and white points together, uh, turning it up, brings them both up. Turning them down, brings it brings them both down. I would suggest try turning it up. Um, then there's the contrast, which adjusts the white point only. Um, I might suggest try turning it down, but really play with it. Turn it up or down and see what happens. While you're, by the way, while you're watching uh, The Walking Dead or some show that really shows the problem. Uh, there's the sharpness control, which they said fiddle with, but I don't think it'll do anything for your problem. So I wouldn't turn that up. Just leave it. It should be set very low, generally speaking, and I would not change that. Um, down at the bottom, there's something called contrast enhancer. Its default is off, my contact there believes. Um, the manual says it automatically adjusts contrast. And I don't know if it has more settings than on or off, um, but I would try them to see what happens. Uh, <clears throat> then you go to the next page and you can find a couple other uh, parameters that Samsung suggested that you play with. One is called gamma, and that determines how quickly images come out of black. That is, they say, say you start at black and you slowly brighten up. Uh, the image has content in it that slowly raises up from black. If you uh, increase the gamma control, that's, that coming out of black will happen faster. And it may very well give you more detail in the shadows. Um, I would try turning it up to see if the dark parts look brighter. And then there's a, another control called shadow detail, which is related to gamma. Um, I'm not quite sure what it does exactly, um, but I would try different settings and see if that, see if that does anything. 
Otherwise, I'm afraid there's not much you can do. I hesitate recommending that you adjust these parameters, uh, brightness and contrast in particular, uh, away from where they should be. Uh, you can learn how to adjust them to where they should be using a setup disc in uh, Home Theater Geeks episode 380, Optimizing Picture Quality 201. Uh, with, uh, with a good setup disc, you can set those to where they're supposed to be. Maybe that'll help. Maybe they're not set properly. And if you set them properly, that could help. I would start there, to tell you the truth. And then play around. Instead of playing around with brightness and contrast, I'd play around with uh, contrast enhancer and gamma and shadow detail. Another factor to consider is that you're watching YouTube TV, which is streaming. And the quality of the stream may not be all that great. One test I would consider is playing a Blu-ray with some dark material. Maybe if you have a Blu-ray of The Walking Dead or some other show that has really dark content, um, I would recommend testing and playing a Blu-ray, a 1080p Blu-ray, because you're also testing the upscaling, uh, seeing if that looks better, because it may very well might. And uh, so then we know that it's the streaming quality of YouTube TV that could be a, an important factor in the result that you're getting. So that would be something else I would consider is uh, testing that and seeing if you get a better result. If you do, then it's in large part due to the fact that you're streaming from YouTube TV. So you might consider changing something uh, maybe try a different streamer as well, a different streaming service, and see if that helps as well. I hope that helps, but I'm not tremendously hopeful that it will. As I said at the beginning, a lower-end set has lower-end capabilities, and I'm sorry that you have run across them in what I presume is a favorite show. Um, but you didn't spend all that much on it to begin with, so maybe that's okay. Anyway... Uh, thanks for writing in. We really appreciate it. And if you have a question for me, uh, please send it along to htg at twit.tv. You can send it in the form of uh, an email or attach an audio file or a video file. And we love playing those on the show. So I uh, hope you'll consider doing that. And as always, we thank you for your support of Club Twit, uh, your membership in Club Twit, which is uh, helps support the entire Twit network. Uh, if you're listening to this by audio and you caught it on your favorite podcatcher, uh, that's great. Uh, but uh, if you join the club, you can watch the video and uh, catch some of the graphics that uh, I include in every episode. So in addition, with your membership to Club Twit, you can join the club Discord channel and come on in and watch us make the show live. And you can catch video of all the other Twitch shows that are available. So I hope you will do that. And in any event, I look forward to seeing you and talking with you next time. Until then, geek out.